Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I would like to do an unboxing and a review of a set of four diamond paintings. Uh, Sander Direct reached out to me and asked if I would review um, one of their diamond paintings on my channel. So of course I said yes. I have heard of Saner Direct um, before and I've seen others review some of their products and they looked really nice. So let's open this up. Mm, sticky. Any of you get the packaging now from Amazon like this when you cut it open and you get, I mean, I appreciate the fact that they're, you know, this is more cushiony, but you get all these little white things all over when you uh, cut, cut the package open. <laughs> okay, so this is what is in the package and it says four pack four seasons full round diamond painting so this is a pack of as i said four diamond paintings and each of these diamond paintings represents the four seasons and i thought oh that would be kind of neat you'd have something to put up on your wall year round i believe these are all 30 by 40s and I will link this down below in the description these are available on Amazon so let's where do you open it this is always the hard part right there we go I think there okay so, like I said, there are four of them in here. Lots of crinkling. Okay. Okay, so, looks like there is winter. We'll start with spring and we'll go through all four seasons here. That must be spring. Oh, the fall one is really pretty. They're all pretty, but from what I can see so far, ooh, this one, the colors look really nice. Let's see what the canvases look like and what the drills look like. I believe, oh my gosh, here we go. I think these are all full round drills, but we'll see. They are full drill. I'm just not sure if they were square or round. All right. So here is the first one. Oh, pretty colors. And yes, they are full rounds. Okay, and as you can see, these have the clear protective cover, not the opaque. And let's just take the cover off a little bit. Now, one thing I do notice already that uh, I do like is the fact that you have the color key up here and down in the corner. On a smaller one like this, that's not quite as important, although it is still nice. Um, on larger ones, I have many, many big diamond paintings. Um, if you've seen my channel at all, you know that. <laughs> And they only have the one up here in the upper right hand corner. So I do like the fact that they have the two keys on here. Very nice and sticky. Let me zoom you in and we are going to look and see how clear the symbols are. They do look nice and clear. I do notice, you know, like the threes in here. I don't know. Oh, my head was in the way. Sorry about that. I don't know if you can see like the threes in here. They're a little bit hard to see. Um, but they are black background. And they're the only ones like that. So you can still 
distinguish them quite easily. Um, but that's really, I think, the only one that's a little bit harder to see just because, and my head's in the way again, uh, just because of the black background to it. I don't know if that's going to be a 310 or not on the canvas itself. If I move this up a little, on the key it does not have the DMC code to each um, symbol. So we'll see if on the uh, drills themselves, if it does have a DMC code. I am really hoping it does. For those of you who do diamond painting and you save your drills, uh, you will know that uh, it's so much nicer when they do provide the DMC code so you don't have to manually match up the colors. I know some of you toss your extras and for those of us with uh, OCD, <laughs> we're like, oh, no, you must save those. Um, and some, many of us do. Some of us don't. I think that is not flat yet. One moment. Let me zoom you back out so you're not staring at my arm there. Get this back down flat. There we go. And we also each have our preference, whether we like these clear sheets or whether we like the opaque white sheets. I will probably take this off anyhow. Um, I have a bunch of the I ordered from Amazon and I can link these down below too. They're parchment squares. They're pre-cut for you. You can go to Dollar Tree and just buy a roll of parchment paper if you want and just put it over the whole thing and then cut it. I like having the pre-cut squares so then I just take off one square at a time. Um, as I am doing this. So I don't really care one way or another what type of covering is on the diamond painting. So in the toolkit that we get, and I'm assuming there must be a toolkit with every single painting. So you will get four trays, four little squares of wax, which if you've done diamond painting at all, you know that this one little bitty square of wax will last you for many diamond paintings. One square will be plenty for all four of these, so you're going to have plenty of wax. And then a drill pen, a single placer drill pen. So I'm assuming also you will have four of these. Okay, so let's look at the drills themselves. Oh, and this comes in a baggie too. <laughs> More to open and find the end of. Boy, they're really testing me today. There we go. More crinkling. <laughs> some of you love this sound, some of you hate it. So, <laughs> for those of you that love it, you're welcome. For those of you who hate it, please hit mute. <laughs> okay. Oh, there are some very pretty colors in here. And no, there are no DMC codes. Darn. Darn, darn. There are 20 colors in this. Love these purples and pinks. Aren't those trees gorgeous? So again, this is the spring picture and let's just look at some of these colors. We'll start with number one and then there is a D004. So if you are one of those who likes to keep your canvases flat once you receive your diamond paintings and then keep your drills separate from your kit, you will know that this set of drills belongs to this particular design because it says D004 up here and it says D004 on each one of these packs and then the number. So this one is one, two, three, and so on. So yeah, let's look at some of these pretty colors. I'm going to zoom you back in again. So we got some pretty peaches. 
Yes, number three looks like it's a 310. So that was that black I was talking about on here. Pretty bluish gray. Lots of pretty blues. Some more grays. I'm assuming that must be like up in the sky. Oh, look at this must be the trees. Aren't them pretty? Oh, beautiful spring colors. And of course, we have to have some greens, some browns, very dark, dark brown, and another kind of mauve color. Oh, very pretty. And the drills look very nice. You know, and that definitely is a personal preference, whether you like rounds or whether you like square drills. I like them both. I kind of overall prefer the squares just because of the more finished, polished look when you're done with them. However, rounds I think are quite a bit easier and they go a little bit faster. So they are a little bit, again, just my opinion, just a little bit more stress-free. It's all stress-free. Uh, diamond painting is just awesome, no matter which kind uh, you do. But I do find that the round drills are a little bit more sparkly it seems like they have more facets on the top than the square um, so again there's there's plus and minuses to both so this again is the spring picture again 30 by 40 so let's get out the summer one and all four of these are 16.99 so, you know, if you figure that's, what, four and a quarter a picture, that's not bad at all. They're not the largest of pictures, but they're just the right size. I know 30 by 40 is a lot of people's preference. They're big enough so that you can clearly see, you know, the details in their in the designs, but not so big that it's an overwhelming picture. Let me zoom back out again. So, summertime is by the ocean. This is a set of seashells, starfish. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I'm assuming again it will be nice and sticky and again yes the symbols are very very nice and clear even the darker browns here you can see very easily aren't them pretty so i think all these colors are going to blend into each other really well okay so let's look at the drills This one is called D002. So again, you're going to know which pack of drills go to which diamond painting, which is good because I'm just putting these all up there <laughs> for now. Here is another tool tray. So yes, you do get a tool, tool tray, a tool kit with each diamond painting. Which is nice. You actually would have only needed one set for all four of them. But now you have extra. Especially if you're just starting out with diamond painting. This would be a perfect set to start out with. Number one, it's rounds. And again, I feel rounds are easier. They're not quite as frustrating. And the drills are a little bit more forgiving. Because they don't have to be perfect squares. Like, like it does when you're, when you're doing square drills um, if you've watched any diamond painting videos at all you will hear sometimes us talk about popping drills you don't have that problem with rounds typically i've never heard of anybody having that problem you can have it with squares if the square drills are just a little bit too big for the canvas yeah you're gonna have popping drill problems and i have had a few like that so okay we're gonna start with number one over here and these are definitely summer colors i can see how many colors are in this one 20 colors wow 
We have our pretty sky blue. Should I zoom you in just a little bit? And look at all these pretty colors. Here we go with probably the sand and seashell colors. Love that peach. Isn't that pretty? Pretty oranges and tans and browns. Must be some more of the water colors. Pretty light, light pink. Here we go, some more of the seashell and sands. Oh, look at this blue. Isn't that pretty? Really beautiful aqua color. Another light blue. Here we go with a kind of a lavender. Maybe a real light mauve. Oh, and then we have this pretty yellow. That must be part of one of the seashells too. Let's see. Yep, one down in the sand. Oh, that's a pretty color too. Gorgeous. Yeah, so that is definitely a summer one. You can definitely very easily pick out what season is what in these diamond paintings. All right, we are going to move on to the fall diamond painting. So yes, I would like to do these. And like I said, you would have a diamond painting for every season of the year. And what's nice with them all being 30 by 40s, if you don't want to frame them separately, you could have one frame and then swap out the diamond painting that you want for that particular season. Oh, I like this one. Let me zoom you back out a bit so you can see the whole picture. We have a fall scene with the pretty trees turning color, which by us up here in the northern states, ours are going to be doing this very shortly. <laughs> and while I love looking at the changing of the leaves, they're very, very pretty. It's hard for me to appreciate the colors because I know what's coming next. <laughs> the snow is going to be flying shortly. Nice and sticky again. And again, very, very nice and clear. The number threes, I'm assuming, again, are the three tens. But again, like on the first one, you can pick them out quite easily. So it's the only really dark one. So it's not like it's going to be difficult to pick that particular. My head's in the way again. <laughs> you can tell I put my camera up a little bit higher so that I could, you know, spread this out on my desk and you could see it. So with my camera being up higher, my head keeps getting in the way. <laughs> so is that not pretty? I think this is my favorite so far. Oh, I like that. Let's look at the colors in here again. We have another toolkit. So, 30 by 40. I believe. Now, I I don't put mine in picture frames. I always frame, quote unquote, mine on uh, a stretch canvas that I make. Um, I believe I have a video out there um, on how I uh, frame my uh, diamond paintings. And uh, but I believe 30 by 40s fit perfectly in. Now what size frame is it? What picture frame? They do fit into a standard because you know all diamond paintings come in centimeters. So it's real hard for us here in the States anyhow to find picture frames that are going to fit perfectly um, around these diamond paintings because we of course don't have centimeters. We have you know 12 by 14 or you know 5 by 7s or you know and they're all in inches. But I do believe, oh gosh, can't be a 16 by 20, that's too big. But I believe there is a picture frame that does fit the 30 by 40. So again, you could buy one picture frame and then just swap out what picture you want for each season. So let's look at these pretty colors. 
put this up here and we can see the colors against the desk a little easier. Okay. Oh, this is a really pretty deep, kind of hard to see. It's shining, isn't it? Let me see if I can hold it up. It's like a deep, real deep maroon kind of. I'm sure that's going up in the trees for the leaves. Here we have some three tins, some deep blues. Oh, that's a pretty color. I'm sure that's got to be the fall leaves too, as these are. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. This would be particularly nice for those of you in the south who don't get the changing of the leaves. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of the brown. Real dark brown. Must be the sky. Ooh, pretty yellow. Oh, there's a pretty color too. Must be up in the trees. More sky and then oh an orangey yellow. So you can see all the colors of the what the leaves are going to be up in the trees. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is going to be very, very nice. And because these are smaller pictures. I would be able to do these in my chair in the living room rather than having to sit at my drafting table, which is where I do my large diamond paintings. I bought a, uh, it's a tilting lap desk for in my chair and I haven't been able to test it out yet. I bought it quite a while ago and I haven't done, haven't had a chance lately <laughs> to do any diamond painting in my chair yet. And I have a number of smaller diamond paintings now um, that are rounds that I thought would be really nice to do in my chair. So here we go with the winter one. Let's zoom back out. Oh, so pretty. Now again, these are 30 by 40, so they are not going to show all the teeny tiny little details like a great big honking you know 70 by 90 would show which is the size of the waterfall i'm doing right now um but i do think these are the perfect size when you look at it up real close yes it looks quite pixelated when you look at it from afar like you can see in the camera right now it looks really nice so yes the 30 by 40s and i've heard other people say the same thing is pretty much the ideal size to get. They're just really nice to work on. Um, again, all of these have your keys in the upper and lower, which I really do like. Nice and sticky again. We do have, and I'll try not to get my head in the way here. <laughs> We do have um, the number six, which is dark, um, but very legible. And then we have like a dark H, but that is dark purple. Let me zoom you in so you can see it. And you can see the difference quite easily. A lot of pretty colors in there. Kind of representing the snow on the tree. So let's zoom back out and let's look at the pretty jewel. There are 20 colors in this one also. So there are a lot of colors in these, you know, for being a little bit smaller of diamond paintings. There's a lot of colors in them. And another set of tools. And Hey, I'm doing pretty good opening these and finding the end. <laughs> there are sometimes I struggle. <laughs> if you've seen any of my other unboxings, sometimes I'm sitting there for a long time looking for the end of that darn piece of plastic. <laughs> All right, let's start with number one again. This one is D003. So they are D00 and then one through four. Oh, oh, these colors are right up my alley. Ooh, look at that. Oh, pretty, pretty. 
Oh, I'm going to have to do this one for Christmas. And if you have been a subscriber of mine for a while, welcome back. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Um, I am in the process of moving. So hopefully in my new place, I will have lots of places to put diamond paintings on my walls. <laughs> Oh, pretty grace. Oh, look at that purple. Woohoo. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a really pretty light mint green. Isn't that gorgeous? Little yellow hitchhiker in there. <laughs> it's a little mint color wannabe. Pretty mauve. And I bet you these are the colors in the horse or the dog. Oh, oh, I love that color. <laughs> and some white. A lot of purple. You know me and my purple. Okay, so those are the colors of the last one. So here again, we go with winter. And then we have autumn or fall, whichever way you want to say it. Get the drills out. And then we have summer. And then we have our spring picture. Aren't those pretty? Oh, thank you so much, Saner Direct, for sending these to me. I think they are gorgeous. Now, Saner Direct has a lot of different products out there um, in regard to diamond painting. They have more uh, diamond painting pictures out there. They have toolkits. They have storage supplies. They have all kinds of things out there on Amazon. So via the link down below, like I said, I will link these pictures but then if you are interested in maybe some other diamond paintings or maybe some of their toolkits or storage sets go ahead and check out saner direct on amazon and check out all their other things so yes i'd like to thank saner direct again for sending these to me um, for review i do think they are pretty if you diamond paint you may want to go ahead and check these out like i said i think they're a real great deal for you know 16.99 for four diamond paintings um, that are perfect size i think it's a really good deal so I uh, thank you for joining me on this review and this unboxing. If you liked seeing this, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I hope everybody is having a terrific day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. <laughs> Bye, guys.